Joan Alwyn Edwards of Stevenson Road, Delamere Land, St. Michael, December 10th, 1945 to October 3rd, 2023. Daughter of the late Sylvester Fort and Yvonne Bates. Mother of Wendell, Ronald and Jacqueline Edwards. Grandmother of Randy Jules and Ramon, Siobhan and Wenchel Edwards. Great grandmother of Shamari Edwards. Mother in law of Pat Rouse. Sister of Trevor, Keith, Judy, Emerson, Jennifer, Winfield, Lionel, and Roger Edwards. June husbands Gregory Sinclair and the late Ronald Edwards. Aunt of 16. Great aunt of many. Cousin of Joycelyn, Robert, Wayne, Rodney, Gregory Edwards, Wendy Bell, and many others. Friend of Nita Trotman, Vernon Blunt, and Angela Brathwaite. Relative of the Edwards, Fort, Hall, and Bourne families. The funeral of Joan Alwyn Edwards leaves Belmont Funeral Home on Tuesday, October 17, 2023, for the St. Cyprian's Anglican Church, where relatives and friends are asked to meet at 10 a.m. for the service. The funeral will then proceed to the Westbury Cemetery for the internment. The service and burial may be viewed via live stream at www.belmontfuneralhome. Dot live forward slash Joan Edwards. Oh 
The end draws near And my time has come Still my soul will sing your praise Unending Ten thousand years and then Lord, 
She wore her heart on her sleeve. If any of her family members were ill or hospitalized, she would ensure to visit them not one day, but each and every day that they were in the hospital. As I said before, Joel was my favorite cousin, but let me tell you why. Joel was the first ever babysitter for my brothers, sisters, and I. She, is, she was the one who would put us on her lap one after the other and rock us to sleep. She was the one who walked us to and from school daily. Many days when the school, bar, school bell rang for lunch, she was sure to be there sitting with our lunch at the table. Words cannot express how grateful we are for her. On behalf of my siblings and I, I want to thank her for all that she has done for us and for being there for my mother Anita in her trying times. May the Lord bless you, Joan, until we meet again. Losing a loved one is always a hard pill to swallow, and we know that Joan will be missed by her family, her neighbors, and her friends. And this morning, I leave this poem with you. Miss me, but let me go. When I come to the end of the road, and the sun has set for me, I want no rights in a gloom-filled room. Why cry for a soul set free? Miss me a little, but not too long, and not with your head bowed low. Remember the love that we want shared? Miss me, but let me go. For this is a journey that we all must take, and each must go alone. It's all a part of the master's plan, a step on the road to home. When you are lonely and sick of heart, go to the friends we know and bury your sorrows in doing good deeds. Miss me, but let me go. Joan Alwyn Edwards, may you rest in peace and rise in glory. Good morning, we welcome all of you to St. Cyprian as we meet as family and friends to give thanks to God for the life of our sister Joan. Please stand. <clears throat> before you this day of a sister Joan. We thank you for giving her to us, her family and friends, to know and love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn, Give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life so that in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth until by your call we are reunited with those who have gone before through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall remain standing as we sing the hymn 427 through all the changing scenes of life.
Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty Father, in your Son Jesus Christ, you have given us a true faith and a sure hope. Strengthen this faith and hope in us all our days that we may live as those who believe and trust in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection to life eternal through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please sit for the first lesson from Ecclesiastes. Good morning. A reading from the Word of God, written in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, beginning at the first verse. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. Here ends the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We shall remain sitting as we chant the psalm number 46, psalm 46 on page 4 in the booklet. Thank you. 
the second reading from the gospel according to John. Good morning. A reading from the word of God, written in the book of John chapter 14, beginning to read at verse 1. John 14, 1 to 7. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I, I, that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and I will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, you don't know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him, and I have seen him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We shall stand and sing the hymn 363, you find it on page 5 in the bullet. Please stand.
seat. <clears throat> the resurrection which informs us that Christ rose from the dead is the foundation on which the Christian faith is built. Actually, of all the religions in the world, Christianity is unique within the context of the resurrection. The belief that its savior died and rose again. And if we were to take away the resurrection from our belief, as St. Paul says, Christianity will be a fraudulent religion and we will be strangers to the truth. But Paul says, no, but no, it's Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruit of them that's dead to rise. And so every time we meet, as we do this morning, at a funeral of a loved one, we do it within the context of the Christian doctrine of the resurrection. As we say at Mass on Sundays, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And this is what we believe. Christ died, he rose, and that he will come again, as we shall say soon, to judge <coughs> the living and the dead. The story of the resurrection informs us that death is not the final event in one's life. As Christians, we believe there is life beyond the grave. It's faith. We cannot go into the lab and prove it. But in the context of faith, we believe that there's life after death and that we will rise again to share everlasting life with Christ. And if we do not believe this, then it does not make, it does not make any sense being here this morning. If we believe that after death that is all, but then what we do this morning makes no sense. But we believe that Christ is alive and that he will come again. But more than that, we believe that Christians share in the life of the risen Christ that we are the beneficiaries of Christ's victory over death and the grave. What day does it teach? First and foremost, the resurrection teaches about a new life as in Adam or day, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. And so the resurrection speaks about the transforming power of the risen Christ. That if we submit our lives to Christ, he's able to change and transform our lives. And by the grace of the Holy Spirit, we are able to live what you might call a good life, not a perfect life, because we always sing. But St. Paul says, if anyone is in Christ, he or she is a new creation. And so the, the risen Christ makes it possible for all of us to become new people. And it says, we don't have to stay as we are. 
as I once say about coming to Mass, come as you are, but do not leave as you are. Come as you are, but do not leave as you are. And so within this context this morning, it, it applies to all of us that when we leave this service, we ought to leave as new persons because of the transforming power of the risen Christ in our lives. Secondly, the resurrection is a story about hope. Hope. In our lives, we encounter all kinds of obstacles and difficulties and trials. Where we live in our homes, there are challenges day by day, I think. Where we work, the workplace, it has its challenges and trials every day. Wherever we go and we intermingle with people, there are tensions and anxieties, pain and sorrow. But the resurrection tells us that when we are united with and to the risen Christ, we are able to live in hope with the confidence that whatever we meet in our lives, we can triumph over them. As Paul said, I know him whom I believe, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep me until that day. So as we meet this morning, I suspect that some of us who are sitting here are going through various trials in our lives. I don't know what it might be, but I guess I can say that everybody here this morning is faced with some challenge or trial. And the resurrection says, do not give up. It says, stand firm, stand firm. Trust God. And this God will help us to overcome and to conquer whatever adversities we meet in our lives. As the risen Christ says, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. And finally, for this morning, the resurrection speaks about joy, it speaks about peace, it speaks about happiness. That when we are united to Christ, our lives can live within an environment of peace and joy and happiness. And when we are united to Christ, no one can take away from us our peace, our joy, our happiness. Because in Christ, we are always happy. As Paul said, the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. And joy. When we are in Christ, we are always joyful. Nobody can take away our joy and make us miserable in Christ. And so Paul says, rejoice in the Lord always. And what? And again, I say rejoice. And we who are in Christ, we enjoy peace and joy because the risen Christ transforms our lives and makes them into something beautiful. 
So to all of us who are here, or those who are with us through technology, I say to you, you can enjoy, let me say we, we can enjoy a life of peace, a life of joy, and a life of happiness if we are in Christ. And so if our lives this morning are in shambles, if our lives are lacking that peace which we all seek and desire, if our lives are not going anywhere and they are empty, come to Jesus Christ. Let the risen Christ control our lives. And if we do that, the peace of God will always be with us. May God bless all of us this morning. And may we come to know the risen Christ as our Lord and Savior. Amen. Please stand. We shall repeat the faith of the church on page six, page six in the booklet. I believe in God. Catholic Church, the forgiveness of sin, <laughs> on page seven, page seven, we shall sing the hymn 496, and can it be, through this hymn, we will take the collection.
on behalf of the parish, we want to extend our condolences to the family, relatives, and friends of our sister. We pray that your faith in God will give you strength in the days to come, and that the pleasant memories of our sister Joan will give us comfort at this time. We pray for all those who mourn, and we commemorate the departing of our sister Joan. We pray with confidence to God our Lord, who raised our Lord Jesus from the dead for the salvation of all. Grant, Lord, that your servant Joan may know the fullness of life which you have promised to those who love you. Lord, in your mercy, be close to those who mourn, especially your family. Increase their faith in your undying love, Lord, in your mercy. May we be strengthened in our faith Help us to live the rest of our lives in fellowship with your Son and be ready when you call us to the fullness of life. Lord, in your mercy. Show your mercy to the dying. Strengthen them with hope and fill them with the peace and joy of your presence. Lord, in your mercy. <laughs> We commend all people to your unfailing love that in them your will may be fulfilled and we rejoice at the faithful witness of your saints in every age praying that we may share with them in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Father of all, we pray to you for our sister June and for all those who we love but see no longer. Grant to them eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. And may our sister June and all the faithful party, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The com commendation on page 8. The commendation. This is the church's way of saying farewell to its members. Let us commend our sister Joan to the mercy of God, our Maker and Redeemer. Heavenly Father, by your mighty power, you have given us new life in Christ Jesus. We entrust Joan, to your merciful keeping, in the faith of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who died and rose again to save us, and is now alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit in glory forever. Rest eternal grant to us, O Lord. May she and all the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant. May you profit in every good work to do his will. Working in you that which is very pleasing in his sight to Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son of the Holy Spirit, this day and forevermore. Amen. We shall sing the hymn of page 9, Bring peace like a river.
Where streams of grace flow deep and wide Where all the love I've ever found Comes like a flood, comes flowing down At the cross, at the cross
unstoppable, uncontainable. You place the stars in the sky and you know them by name. You are amazing, God. All powerful, untamable, all struck we fall to our knees.
the mountain top I can see so clear what it's all about So stay by my side When the sun goes Yeah.
Father gives to me, will come to me. I will never turn away anyone. My heart, therefore, is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. Man born of a woman has a short time to live. Like a flower, he blossoms and then withers away. Like a shadow, he flees and never stays. In the midst of life, we are in death. To whom shall we turn for help but to you, Lord, who are justly angered by our sins? In sure and certain hope of resurrection to life eternal through our Lord Jesus Christ, 
we commend to Almighty God, our sister June, and we commit the body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And we beseech you in your infinite goodness to give us grace to live in your love and to die in your favor, that when your very beloved son shall come again in judgment, both this of our sister June and we ourselves may be found acceptable in your sight. Grant this for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, our oh Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God, we fully live the spirits of those who die in the Lord, and with whom the souls of the faithful are in joy and felicity. We give you heartfelt thanks for the good examples of all your servants who, having finished their course in faith, now find rest and refreshment. May we, with all who have died in the true faith of your holy name, have perfect fulfillment and bliss in your eternal and everlasting glory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Rest eternal grant to her, O Lord. May she and all the faithful departing through the mercy of God rest in peace. The Lord bless her and keep her. The Lord make his face to shine upon her and be gracious to her. The Lord lift up his countenance upon her and give her peace now and forever. Amen. Amazing grace, amazing grace. Whoa. 
was grace that taught my heart to feel and grace my fears relieve how precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed my change Thank you. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. We sing the faith of him, the day that we gave his Lord is indeed.